the only one that's inside your brain feeling all of your anxieties and the voices that are telling you that you can't be who you want to be or that you're not who you want to be or that you want to be more like that other person over there. Let me tell you, people are mean to each other, but no voices are as mean as our own voices are to ourselves. Every day, when you look in the mirror and your mind is telling you all the things you're not, if those things are, you're not cool enough, you're not pretty enough, you're not popular enough, you're not successful enough, you're not special, you're not wanted, you're not unique, those are not the things you are not. Let me tell you the things you are not, okay? You are not somebody else's opinion of you. That's what you're not. And I think one of the things that I've learned recently, and um, I hope that someday you learn this too, or maybe when I say this, it will occur to you, because it makes life a little bit easier, when you realize that it's not our job to make other people like us if they don't want to. What do you think is the most important life lesson for someone to learn? That karma is real. Life is a funny thing, you know. In real life, saying the right thing at the right moment is beyond crucial. So crucial, in fact, that most of us start to hesitate for fear of saying the wrong thing at the wrong time. But lately what I've begun to fear more than that is letting the moment pass without saying anything. I think you deserve to look back on your life without this chorus of resounding voices saying, I could've, but it's too late now. So there's a time for silence, and there's a time for waiting your turn. But if you know how you feel, and you so clearly know what you need to say, you'll know it. I don't think you should wait. I think you should speak now. I don't feel great when I am fed messages and when I was fed messages as a young girl, that it's more important to be edgy and sexy and cool than anything else. I don't think that those are the right messages to feed girls, and I think they're being given those messages by the popular cliques in their school, which is all kind of cascading down from the media and what we seem to prioritize in women. And I think that um, those were the times that I haven't felt good enough, because my life my life doesn't gravitate towards being edgy, sexy, or cool. I just naturally am not any of those things. I'm imaginative, I'm smart, and I'm hardworking. And those things are not necessarily prioritized in pop culture. The only way forward is forward motion. That we shouldn't let obstacles like criticism slow down the creative forces that drive us. It seems like the pressure that could have crushed us made us into diamonds instead. And what didn't kill us actually did make us strong. There doesn't have to be loneliness in being alone. And you can find romance in your life even if you aren't involved in a romance. I never understood it when people would say, in your 20s you just need to be alone. And I just, I never quite got it. It's so important to define yourself on your own terms. There's something really wonderful about changing your life if you want to, cutting your hair short if you want to, moving to New York if you want to, changing directions of your entire creative outlook if you want to, and having it only be on your own terms. The first woman to win Album of the Year at the Grammys twice. I want to say to all the young women out there, there are going to be people along the way who will try to undercut your success or take credit for your accomplishments or your fame. But if you just focus on the work and you don't let those people sidetrack you, someday when you get where you're going, you'll look around and you will know that it was you and the people who love you who put you there. And that will be the greatest feeling in the world. Thank you. Every day we go online and we scroll through the highlight reel of other people's awesome lives. But we don't see the highlight reel of our awesome lives. All we see is the behind the scenes of our lives. We see every single moment. But when we wake up, we're like, oh God, not feeling my hair today. <laughs>
If you're experiencing turbulence or pressure, that, that probably means you're rising. And there might be times when you put your whole heart and soul into something and it is met with cynicism or skepticism. You cannot let that crush you. You have to let it fuel you because we live in a world where anyone has the right to say anything that they want about you at any time. But just please remember that you have the right to prove them wrong. I need you to hear me when, you, when I say that there is no career path that comes free of negativity. If you're being met with resistance, that probably...